What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. We have some updates on the Bret Hart Hall of Fame 2019 Attackers case. Yes, uh, I think it happened about 10 hours ago. Uh, we originally reported on it here on the channel. And then we have some new updates. We have some new information on the attacker himself. This is not the mugshot of the attacker after the incident and being arrested. This is actually a mugshot of the attacker from years past. I think he has had a troubled past. He's been arrested before. And this is that mugshot. I don't think I could find a photo of the updated mugshot just yet. I'm sure it'll be leaked online somewhere sometime soon, but uh, this man's name is Zachary Madsen from Nebraska, and there's actually a lot of info that I have about this. I have an article that I'm going to read to you guys, and I also have some tweets that he sent out uh, days before or, you know, just a few days ago regarding, like, Vince McMahon and, and the women's main event, and it's actually pretty interesting. It makes... Um, I don't know if it has anything to do with the attacks, but it's kind of weird if you connect the lines here what could be said about it, but um, he was arrested, and I'm, I'm going to read this article brought to us by lordsofpain.net, I do believe is the source, and I wanted to give them credit for this. It is lordsofpain.net, yes it is, and I'm going to go ahead and read this article to you guys now. Uh, it says, The man who attacked WWE Hall of Fame Bret Hart at Saturday's 2019 WWE Hall of Fame induction ceremony at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn has been identified as 26-year-old Zachary Madsen from Nebraska, according to CBS New York. It was reported earlier by Arash Markazi of the LA Times that the man was charged with two counts of third-degree assault and disorderly conduct. However, that report may have been premature as CBS Sports reported that Madsen was taken to the NYPD's 78th precinct in Brooklyn to be charged with two counts of assault and trespassing. The main CBS website then noted that the man was still being held in custody while the charges were being filed at around midnight Eastern Time. That report said Madsen faced two counts of assault, one count of trespassing, and a misdemeanor charge of violation of local law. CBS reports that the man also caused minor injuries to a security guard who tried to hold him down, in addition to minor injuries Hart suffered. It was noted that the man punched Brett at least once, but Brett did not need medical attention. The man tackled Bret Hart as he and Natalia were doing the induction for the Hart Foundation. As noted, WWE issued a statement on the incident and said the man has been turned over to the proper authorities. You can see their statement here, and it says, An over-exuberant fan surpassed our security at ringside and made his way briefly into the ring. The individual has been turned over to the proper authorities. Shane McMahon, Curtis Axel, Heath Slater, Raw Tag Team Champion Dash Wilder, Davey Boy Smith Jr., Travis Brown, boyfriend of Raw Women's Champion Ronda Rousey, and former UFC fighter, the New Day, Titus O'Neil, and Brett himself are now being reported as the one who physically got involved with the attacker. A Facebook account linked to Zach Madsen from Lincoln, Nebraska notes that he is an amateur MMA fighter. And Madsen also has an interesting Twitter account at I am mad underscore 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 sin where he has made several recent bizarre tweets tagging Vince McMahon, Triple H, WWE Champion Daniel Bryan, Raw Women's Champion Ronda Rousey, SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, and others. On April 3rd, he tweeted a bizarre photo and wrote, Road Trip, I want to say thank you to Vince McMahon for helping guide us to the main event of WrestleMania 35. Hashtag WWE, it's been an honor to bounce off brilliance. Look what we started. We're going to have to take the Batmobile, though, seeing as my car has a dent. Madsen continued that same day, the Clown Prince of Rhyme will be headed to New Jersey on Friday with or without his best, his two best friends, Batman and Harvey, unless other transportation is booked prior to then. Again, thank you so much, at Vince McMahon. You are my hero. He made another tweet on his bizarre road trip the next day. Madsen wrote, please keep in mind that my check engine light is on. I've driven I've driven well over 5,000 miles without an oil change, and I don't have a GPS. Additionally, the only bigger joke than my car is my sense of direction. It might be easier to book me a flight, Vince McMahon. You have 24 to 30 hours. So this man clearly just, I don't I don't really know what uh, his, his uh, deal is, but there's another tweet here saying that uh, he says that he talks about the women's main event for tonight by far. Tonight is WrestleMania 35. Happy WrestleMania to everybody out there. He actually tweeted a photo of Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch at the subway counter, and he says, Yo, Vince McMahon, this is the only show these majestic beings should be closing. Becky Lynch, I need three sandwiches for here. Charlotte, ham and cheese. Ronda Rousey, I got a coupon. It'll be buy zero, get three free, and we need three water cups. At WWE, hashtag WWE, hashtag subway, hashtag ad. 
And so uh, you guys can see the tweet there on your screen. He obviously is not a he's not a fan of the women's main event for WrestleMania. He doesn't believe that the women should main event. And he believes that, I don't know if he's, I don't know exactly what his opinions are on it, but he clearly doesn't want it main eventing. I mean, that is obvious by his recent tweets, by his interactions on social media and everything like that. But uh, this is still a well-developing story. I'm sure, I'm, I still want to see a mugshot of what he looks like now. I still have not found it. I, I've been looking on the internet and stuff. I saw like a recent Twitter thing that said uh, that, had like a meme and it was like a guy beat up but I don't think it was really him I think it was just a joke that people are passing around on Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that just sort of making fun of the guy but um, that's not what I'm here to do I'm just here to bring light to the situation and talk about the facts that we know for sure and um, I'm, I mean it is a fact that what he did was sickening it's a fact that what he did was definitely wrong and it's a fact that he should totally serve the consequences of what his actions were at the WWE Hall of Fame and this is just a just ridiculous act and I, I cannot believe that this man actually did this since we had some updates I wanted to give you guys the info but today is Wrestlemania I'm very excited for the show I can't wait to get in here review it for you guys and all of that good stuff we're going to go back to our original uploads after this I just thought this was absolutely insane wanted to report on it wanted to give you guys the go-to on it and if you guys are enjoying the information videos like this please let me know down in the comment section below but um yeah it seems like he got beat pretty bad from what I've heard from different sources and stuff like that they they have confirmed that this man did get beat up pretty good and uh, again I'm still waiting on some images here I mean you guys saw or you guys heard that he is an MMA fighter. He is an amateur MMA fighter with a 2 and one record. So this man clearly has a fighting background. There's actually a video of him being choked out. I may include that as a bonus clip here at the end of the video. But um, that is pretty much it, guys. I mean, that, that's pretty much all I have for now. I'm sure more stuff will come out as we, you know, get into the hours leading up to WrestleMania. But thank you guys so very much for watching. If you guys enjoy, comment down below. What do you, what do you think of the whole situation? I would love to know. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.